Welcome to the Play Property Channel. This is Larry. I'm still a little bit under, under the weather, so if my voice sounds a little bit off or if I hack and cough, I do apologize. Uh, but I do need to get some videos up on this channel. I've been struggling to get some videos up lately. I've had a couple of uh, wrecked videos. Uh, my last two videos have kind of been uh, didn't work out, so I couldn't upload them. So, um, so hopefully this one will work today, and we're gonna play some solo match in Legendary. I'm going to be using the advanced solo mode, so uh, so all five master strikes are going to be in the villain deck for, for this. Um, in solo mode too, like uh, I've chosen the mastermind Red Skull. Uh, I am uh, don't have to follow what he always leads, but uh, in this case, I've chosen to go, kind of go with Hydra anyways. So uh, I kind of like more of the theme. It makes it a little bit harder for me too. I know one time I lost within like four hands one time playing uh, solo, so it can make it really hard sometimes, but if you get the wrong kind of pairing, but. Uh, so yeah, so the mastermind is going to be the Red Skull. Uh, for the heroes, uh, I've chosen to go with Captain America, Nick Fury, and Black Widow. Uh, solo mode, you only uh, play with three. Uh, so those are the three I've chosen for this. Again, kind of more, would go along with the theme here. And then for the scheme, We've gone with replace Earth's leaders with Hydra. So to set up his five twists, I got three additional twists next to this scheme. And uh, 18 total bystanders in the villain deck. So solo play, there's going to be a lot of, uh, you're going to see a lot of bystanders come up because there's less cards in the villain deck in solo play. So this scheme is going to make it very easy to draw bystanders. Uh, special rules, bystanders in villain deck count as infiltrator villains. Uh, with their attack equal to the number of twists by this scheme. Twist, put this twist next to the scheme. Evil wins if five infiltrators escape. So already I'm thinking for a strategy because I'm going to get a lot of bystanders as I'm definitely going to probably have to buy up as much attack cards as I possibly can to make certain I can get rid of them as I try to hit the, hit the Red Skull. So... Anyway, so we're about there. Oh, uh, also make it a little bit easier on me. I do have, uh, I am using sidekicks for this from the Civil War. So these are, uh, if you're not familiar with the sidekicks, they go face down right there. They cost uh, two to buy. And of course, after I use them, they go in the bottom of the deck. So just to make it a little bit easier for me on this, because I am using, uh, like I said, the Red Skull with uh, what he always leads. So. And let's see how we do. So with my first hand, I've got four shield agents to oh, and two attacks. So we got to do a villain deck first, and we're gonna get endless armies of Hydra. So they come in the fight. I play the top two cards of the villain deck. Ouch. But with only two attack, I'm not going to be able to attack anything anyways. And I got four buying power. Hmm. What do I want, really? Kind of would like that Nick Fury card, but I don't have the money for it. Um, now I'm going to buy the Captain America one, the perfect teamwork. So I get plus one attack for each other color hero you have, including gray. So I'm going to put that in there. Oops, and my mic fell. Just give me a second. Sorry about that, folks. I will reattach the mic. Sorry about that. And we got six more cards. Draw another villain. And we got ourselves a Master Strike. Uh, each player KOs a hero from their hand. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to KO... A buying power from my hand. 
because it's just I want to be able to yeah I want to still be able to attack so that's kind of why I decided to do that um, we got two attack can't do anything we got three buying power oh I forgot to just carried in to see what I could buy and oh that's definitely what I want to buy because it's got two attack power I'm definitely getting a high-tech weaponry from Nick Fury so that's what I'm picking up flip another card over a quick shuffle like I said these games can go pretty fast or it can go pretty long again like I said I've lost one time with just just four hands and I was dead all right so flip my villain card what do we get I get a bystander pepper pot so even through it's one of this one it's still got to follow the scheme so that's still a three villain <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, let's see what I got for my hand so in my hand I got four buying power I've got high-tech weaponry with the plus two and I've got my perfect teamwork so basically got a green with the gray so I'm probably looking at only four attack power so I can definitely take something out. Might as well take out the pepper pots. And when you rescue this bystander to get plus two buying power, usable only to recruit heroes in HQ space under the bank. Well, the bank was only cost two, so I'll get that for free. So I'll get me uh, a Black Widow mission accomplished card. Uh, my other four. I'm going to pick up a couple of uh, sidekicks. So I'm going to get Hairball. And I'm going to get this lion from the sidekicks. Pepper Pots goes to my victory pile. One, two, three, four, five. So there's six cards for me. Put the villain. And we got a scheme twist. So basically that goes to the side. I think I forgot to do something. What up? I think I forgot something here. Oh yeah, whenever I complete a Master Strike, I'm supposed to play another card from the Villain deck. So I forgot to do that. And I also, uh, when I play a Scheme Twist, I got a KO... Well, actually, I'm under Advanced Rules, so that means it goes... Instead of KOing... Uh, some of the rules are still only going to spend a little bit while to so play. So I played the Master Strike, so I was supposed to have played another Villain card right away. But we'll we'll, we'll kind of get caught up with that in a second. But So we've got a Scheme Twist... Uh, we'll complete that first. We'll count that as the extra extra one for the Master Strike. Okay, we'll do. We'll get ourselves caught up here because I want to make certain we're playing properly here in the Play Property Channel. So we'll say that that's what I drew for the Master Strike. Okay. Um. So basically, it goes here. In the regular rules, I would have to KO uh, a card from here and KO it. But uh, because I'm in the Advanced Play, it actually goes in the bottom of my deck. Um, so there's already kind of enough of these draw cards, so I'm going to put one of these in the bottom. Okay. So that was the extra one, okay? So now this one will be the one for this turn, which is a bystander. So because I got four cards here now in the scheme twist, uh, that bystander is a four. And what do I have? Yeah, I got four four attack. So I will again hit the bystander. Add that to my victory points. And I've only got two buying. 
As much as I kind of really like draw a card, I don't like it early on in the game because you're only be drawing mostly one card. So I usually prefer to buy that later on. So I'm going to pick up a sidekick again. So I'm picking up uh, Lockheed. It's going in. Then I have to shuffle here. Shuffle a little bit, a bit more than that. <clears throat> I'm trying to be quick here for the channel. I know everybody's busy with not a lot of time, so I'll try to keep these videos as short as possible. All right, so let's flip the villain. And we got another bystander. So, what do I got in my hand? All right, so I got one attack there. I'm going to play Hairball, which gives me another one attack. I get to draw a card, and that goes to the bottom of the sidekick pile. I get to draw another card. So right now I got two attack. I'm going to play Miss Lion. I get to rescue a bystander, which would be the top of the bystander deck, which is Peggy Carter. So when I rescue this bystander, I get to draw a card. So basically, I draw a card because of this. And I draw a card because of the bystander, Peggy Carter. And that goes on the bottom. I'm going to have a lot of cards in this hand. So I'm still at two attack. I'm going to play Mission Accomplished in Black Widow. So I get to draw a card. I haven't played a gray one yet, so I can't risk a bystander, but it allows me to draw another card. Now, because I played a gray, a tech hero, I get another high-tech weaponry for Nick Fury, so I get to activate that. So that gives me another three, which gives me five attack power. I drew another one of those cards, so that gives me six attack power. And I'm going to play Lockheed, which is going to give me eight. And that has to go on the bottom of the sidekick. So with eight attack power, I mean, I can wipe out the board. Or I can make a hit on Red Skull, which I think I'm going to take this chance to hit Red Skull right now. Pick a random card underneath them. Uh, I'm going to pick that one. Endless resources. I get an extra four by. So that goes in my victory pile. And I still got another three buying. So I've actually got seven buying this, this round. Which is one shirt of getting that. Damn it. One short. But I'm going to get it. The six legendary Commander Nick Fury one. Uh, for six because of what's one. Plus I get plus one for each other. Uh, shield Hero I'll play this turn. And really good card to have because they're going to have a lot of shield. Shield Hero. So that's my six. And the other one's just going to have to be wasted. You can't buy anything with one. And let's see what happens with the villain. So hopefully not clearing the board is not going to harm me, I hope. So we got a Hydra Spy. Fight when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn. Draw an extra card. Now because we're under uh, solo play, there's only three of those cards in the villain deck. Uh, usually it would be ten if you're playing a multiplayer game. That's the henchmen I chose for this. Uh... Well, I've got one there. Uh, one plus one for gray, so 
That gives me three attack. Wish I could only hit the Hydra Spy. So, well, I beat up the Hydra Spies in the sewer. So I draw a new can's new cards at the end of this turn. I get to draw an extra card. I'll put that off the side for a bit so I don't forget. And then I got four buying power. So what do I want to buy for four? You know what? I think I'm going to buy this Nick Fury card. Uh, Mikao shield hero from my hand or discard pile if I do I'm making a shield officer to my hand so it gives me a way to get uh, some Maria Hills in there so I can kind of uh, my plan is with this is to get rid of the, the ones and turn them into twos so I get a little bit more buying power that's the end of my turn I have to shuffle shuffle again here Excuse me while I shuffle. So far I'm feeling pretty confident in this game. I've already got one hit already on the Red Skull. Uh, not being overrun yet. Sidekicks are actually proved pretty helpful. That's one reason to buy Civil War is so you can get the sidekicks. <clears throat> They're nice to have. I also like them because you spend them, they come right out of your hand, right out of your, right out of your deck too. All right, so I got my hand now. Oh, I get one extra card. I almost forgot about that for the Hydra Spies. Draw an extra one. Uh, let's do the villain, and I got a scheme twist. All right. So that turns. Bystander do a five, because we've got five cards in here now. Which is going to make this a little bit tougher. Now I'm almost kind of regretting not taking her out, but bystander out. But we well, we got lots of time. We got lots of time here. Uh, now I got to put a card into the bottom here. Uh, it has to be six or lower, so it can't be the two of these cards. Uh, Don't really want the buying power, I don't think. So I'm going to put this Captain America one down. That's why I'm choosing that one. And replace it from their Black Widow. Alright, so what am I going to do now? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play this Nick Fury card. Battlefield promotion. I'm going to kill from my hand or discard pile. If I do, you may gain a shield officer to your hand. So I'm going to KO shield agent and gain a Maria Hill. We'll come right up into my hand. And then I'm going to play Mission accomplished. I'm going to draw a card because uh, I didn't play a great one. I don't get the rescue of bystander. I got to play another tech first before to get that. So I will draw a card. I will play high tech weaponry because I played the gray tech, whatever. So I get an extra plus one. So that gives me three attack. This will give me four attack. This, I get plus one for each color of hero I have. I got a red, gray, and a green. So I'm already at, was it, four? Yeah, yeah, I was already at four, so I get another three, so that gives me seven. 
you know what? With another seven, I'm going to hit the Red Skull again. I, I really want to win this. So I am going to hit the Red Skull again. Let's see what I get. Ruthless Dictator. Fight. Look at the top three cards of your deck. KO one. Discard one. Put one back on the top of my deck. Now I'll place that there for a second. So I get to look at the top three. So I got Legendary Commander. I got a Shield Agent. And I got a Shield Trooper. So KO one. I'm going to KO the Shield Agent. Discard one. Discard that. And I'm going to put that back on top of my deck. So that's the Vic. That goes back into my victory pile. So for buying, what do I have? I've got four buying power. I'm going to get Covert Operations. This is actually going to be really good for me because I get plus one for each bystander in my victory pile because i got to attack all these bystanders anyways. Uh, that's going to be a really powerful card for me. So that is basically a no-brainer. I'm going to take that card. Exactly six cards left in my deck. Switch over to the villain, and we got another bystander. Now, again, their power right now is five. And again, I'm feeling really confident because I only have to hit the red skull twice more right now to win this game. And I haven't had any of these uh, bystanders escape yet. I've got a lots of attack power in my deck, I'm feeling. So I'm thinking already this game I might already have an in the hand oh okay uh, I'm gonna play I'm gonna play my three shield agents first for buying power I'm gonna again go with uh, dangerous rescue for black widow gives me two attack Plus, if I get to play another Covert one before, I may KO a card from my hand or discard pile. If I do, risk a Bystander, which again will power up that one card again. So actually having Black Widow in my deck is actually with this with this scheme is actually a really advantage. I didn't think it was going to be like that, but uh, it's turning out quite that way. And then I'm going to play two Shield Troopers, which is two attack. Legendary Commander, Nick Fury, I get plus one for each Shield Hero I played this turn. So that is five, one, two, three, four, five that I played. So this basically is now a, an attack of six. So I've got eight, which I will use to hit the Red Skull again. And the victory, I got a Hydro Conspiracy uh, fight. I get to draw two cards, then draw another card for each Hydra villain in my victory pile. Um, yeah, so I basically have to shuffle my deck because I don't have any cards to draw. So just give me one moment. Yeah, this game is going to be probably a short, quick one. Looks like it's going to be a victory. But, of course, it doesn't always end up like this. This is uh, looking to be a pretty much an easy one already, I'm finding. But we'll see how it goes. So I draw two cards. And then draw another card for each Hydra villain in my victory pile. So we'll go through my victory pile. Uh... I actually don't have any Hydra villains in here because they're still up there. So I only get the two extra cards. Uh, oh, wow. 
I get plus one uh, attack for each other shield hero I played this turn. Well, we already know I've I played five plus him already, so that's uh, mm. wow. That's a uh, Well, that's a little bit powerful. That's getting that card twice in a row is really handy. That's uh, yeah. God, I'm in trouble calculating here because I'm a little bit slow on the weather here. But uh, so that's an extra plus. That's an extra seven. Plus, I get plus one for each bystander in my victory pile. And bystanders, I've got three bystanders already. So that's already like another nine. And yeah, I'm just gonna hit the red skull one more time and win the game. It gives me another three attack. So there you go. There's a very quick, easy game of uh, of uh, legendary here. Uh, won this one pretty fast and quick. Uh, I'll probably set up for another one here, and uh, we'll see how that one goes. Thank you for watching the Play Property Channel.